Welcome back, True Believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm going to do a survival episode. Now, as you can see, I've unlocked a few things, so I figured that if I'm playing with objectives in mind... Oh, whoa, I already ran into something I didn't want to see. Crap. Ugh. Now we gotta escape this beagle. I've been a fool. Oh, beagle. All right, now we also have to escape this dog. Oh gosh, we can do this. We're gonna, we're gonna, here we go. <laughs> so I figured if I was doing something more objective based, AKA if I was going to be trying to go get those, uh, trying to go get the, um, like little archives in this area so I could unlock the next section of the story, I should probably choose an animal that is much more survivable. So, I have, after that little stint as the chicken, I think I will try and get a high score as the chicken eventually, but for now I was like, you know what, I'll do the gazelle just so I can actually show some more animals in the game. Okay, that's just a rabbit. So I can actually show some more animals in the game as well as um, actually get my objective, which is the most important part to me. But I really need to, do need to watch out for like real animals. Is that all four already? Huh. Well, I guess I'll... No. There's really no need to mate, especially at such a low rank. I'll try and get some more... Um, what I'll try and do is I'll try and get a higher rank, and then I'll come back and nest at Dog and Zaka. And that way I can get a pack of six gazelles instead of just two gazelles. Dude, the chick was like... I feel like that's probably one of the hardest things to survive as. I love that, um... Also, when you have, like, those weaker animals, the goals aren't so much to, uh, I guess okay, I can just mark these areas here. The goals with the weaker animals aren't to beat bosses, it's just to find the bosses. Like, with the sick deer, um, there was a gazelle boss, and all it was like, it was like, uh, just go find the gazelle boss. Like, the game, it knew that there was pretty much gonna be no chance at actually beating, oh. So if I want to get to that... Oh no, I guess I can get to it from here. It knew that I was going to have no actual chance at beating the gazelle boss as the, as the sick deer, which I actually probably could have if I had put my mind to it, but instead they're like, nah, dude, just play it old school. Just try and touch it, because that's what the thing actually said. And with the chick, it's funny because it didn't even say beat the bunny boss, it or, or it didn't even say touch the bunny boss, it just said find the bunny boss. Like, that's what I think is really funny is that it didn't even have enough faith in you as the chick to do anything more than just find a boss. Because the chick probably can't beat anything. Like, even if you get your rank up to boss and have six little... Oh, Are you kidding me? You know, when I actually unlocked some stuff as the sick -a deer I actually got in a situation like this, but luckily these guys are asleep. There we go. But if I'm here past night, they might wake up because I think they're nocturnal. But as the sick -a deer I got to a situation like that, and I they were right on top of that point, so I had to lure them around, and it took me forever. It was, like, really tough, because uh, it was, like, two hyenas, and I was one sick -a deer and I hadn't mated with anything yet, so I didn't have any pack mates to help me out. It was redonkulous. All right, whoa. Okay, so I guess, well, I guess I do have to go down to actually sleep at this last point. There we go. But I still haven't gotten my rank up, because there's not a lot of plants. And by the way, here's something I thought I should point out. The map actually shows you how much food there is in each area, like... I should probably try and get to the Yamanote uh, line east right now, because... There's very little food here, but there is... As you can see... Oh, let's put on my headlamp. This is perfect. It's dark now. But as you can see, there's plenty of food at the Yamanote line east, so... I'm learning to read all the stuff in this better, like before... Oh, I have food. I have shoes. I didn't think I had any shoes. Oh, I bought five pairs of kitty paws. That's funny. These increase your attack and your defense. In fact, I probably shouldn't put them on in case I'm about to get into a fight. Because shoes wear out on your feet just as you run around. So um, if you just leave them on all the time, they tend to wear out faster than other things. So make sure um, if you're going to use shoes to check in the description of the item. Like kitty paws say, cute shoes made to look like cat paws, and I think somewhere they say that they raise attack. Oh yeah, duh. 
in your stats. See, it shows that they raise attack by 10. So yeah, basically, one great thing to do with the Kitty Paws is, if you're about to get into a fight, um, just turn, uh, put them on, and then you can just raise your attack, at, and it's very helpful, actually, because it'll give you a quick boost if you need to, like, kick something's ass, like, if you're in a situation where you absolutely must kill, but it's better on, like, a, the Pomeranian or the cat, because, obviously, like, the deer... You generally don't want to be fighting things. Like, if you're fighting something, you've gotten into a situation that is, like, really bad. Plus, also, berry bush. Oh, I'm boss now. Oh, dude, I'm gonna go... Well, let's go get these challenge things first, and then I'll go mate. Because I feel like these challenge things, unlocking a further portion of the story, is rather important. Also, what are my challenges as the, uh, deer? Oh, Shibuya Shop District. That's way out of the way. But if I do that, I'll get a new, uh, I'll get the Sun Visor. Huh. Maybe these cha- like, I don't even care about the Sun Visor. I can just buy headlamps and shit. Yeah, I might actually just, um, let those challenges expire. Because that's how that- oh, whoa. Why am I walking right up to this elephant? Hey, by the way, hey elephant. Don't kill me. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just a bystander. Dude, I f it's crazy. I feel like every time I go into this um, area, there's always a bunch of, like, stronger animals, which, by the way, I haven't... It, that may make it sound like I've been into this area a lot. Whoa! Giraffe? That's cool. Oh, man. This game just... It makes my heart smile. Like, I just gotta say that about this game. It's been really fun doing this game on my channel. Oh, I gotta be careful, because this is crocodile country. But yeah, doing this game on my channel has just been making my heart smile. Like, I really enjoy playing it. The survival mode is way fun. And the storyline is usually funny. Like, the my favorite part about the storyline is that it is just so tongue-in-cheek and just kind of funny. I guess I should be marking these and just kind of find a mate here, but... I want to get a prime mate, because I want my next... Oh, this is probably... Something is... Oh, that's a deer. I thought there was going to be, like, crocodiles down here. In fact, that's a gazelle. That's one of my peeps. Doesn't matter though. Check it out. I found the... Oh, let's eat all this. I guess I don't really need calories for things other than the challenges right now though. But hey, the challenges are nice to get. Alright, so now I can play more storyline, which I will probably be doing in whatever the next video. What is that? I can't tell what that is in the bushes. It looks like some... Oh, it's, it's a bull! Oh, I haven't even seen one of those yet. I'm just like going on a safari right now and exploring the Amazon, even though this is not the Amazon. In fact, this is just... Oh. Alright, let's... Oh, whoa, whoops, I messed that up. I was like, I was like, dude, that doesn't look like a very big animal. I can probably beat it, but obviously, oh, this could be... This is gonna be the end for me. No, it's not. I can escape. I've got tons of stamina. Plus, it's daytime. Oh, actually, nighttime would probably be better for escaping. Hopefully, that pack will go after whatever that other thing was. Whoa, they didn't even... He just ran right into these trees. Alright. Let's get in. Okay. Alright, let's just keep going. I, I lost him in, like, the four patches of grass right there. Beauty. Alright, and we're safe again. Awesome. Did you see that? I lost those guys like a freaking champ. And look, this deer over here is too stupid to even eat this grass. That's why he's gonna die. I'm gonna live on and pass my sweaters down to further generations. And in fact, because I'm coming up on the 10 year mark, it's probably about time to... Oh, don't wanna... Already learned my lesson about going in the train, and I see that there's another Lacayon, or Lac... Lacion. I don't even know how to pronounce whatever that creature is. It's obviously, uh... In the... Genus of... No, genus isn't the right word. It's obviously in the dog species. I don't... I forget all that stuff, man. Oh. What is so... It's, uh... What is it called again? Oh, whoop, whoops! Crap! <laughs> Alright. Oh, whatever. I forked it up again. Alright, let's go this way. Try and maybe lose him around this corner. I effed it up because I was trying to get his name to appear on the screen. <laughs> Something gives me the feeling that getting the name of an animal to appear on the screen is not more important than living. Alright, did I lose him? Yep, he's gone. Alright, what kind of mate is this? If this is a prime mate, I'm going for it. 
Oh, nope, it's a flea bag. It's a dirty skank flea bag, mate. I don't need that, mate. So let's go to the other area, because I still... This game, if you unlocked an earlier area, they stay unlocked, so... Oh, you can't go past this? Is there a way to... Okay, here we go. You can get in the train. Whoa, but there's... Is that a lion? Oh, no, it's a Tosa! But look at all these plants. Like, I am almost willing to just kind of try to avoid this Tosa so I can get all these calories. <laughs> like, screw the Tosa. I don't even care. I'm gonna get my rank up here. I'm gonna rock this... I'm gonna rock this bitch. All right. Oh, he's standing right next to one of the sweet, sweet berry bushes, though, but that's okay. You don't necessarily need the berry bushes to live. Like, usually I would go out of my way to get the berry bush, but I'm like, I'm trying to live here, my friends. I'm gonna spread to another... Oh. Mmm. Like, I'm gonna spread my seed to another generation. I'm a boss right now. All I have to do is get back to the other area, and I can do this. Oh, yep, and I failed to head for the Shibuya Shop District. I know. Complete all E challenges, I know. We'll have to do it another time on the Gazelle. Like, it's not like it's not fun to play this game, so... I have no problem with going back and completing challenges, right? Let's hope that the closest mate to me in this area is not a dirty flea bag. Oh, whoa! Oh, but the closest g dog things to me in this area are... are whoa, this area is like infested with these things. Okay. We can do this. All I gotta do is make sure I- oh crap, jump, jump more, you freaking piece of crap. Alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna lose them partially in that grass. Oh, eat. I know I'm running, but food is also important. Okay. Oh, okay, whew, that was a good place to fall, actually. Alright. Hmm. Alright, the caution's going down. They're above me. Oh crap, it's back to 299, what happened? Oh, they saw me from below, or what? <gasps> this is a good mate! I'm taking this mate with me. <laughs> oh crap, alright. I hate it when, like, I get chased into more enemies. Like, that's the beginning of the end, usually. Okay. Come on, mate. Come with me. Come! We're gonna get six babies! We're gonna come back and we're not gonna be afraid of these hyenas! When we get our six babies! Alright. <sighs> He's coming awfully close to me. He's not figuring it out. He's being like, what is it that dog trying to do up there? Do you see him just like jumping up on that shit? All right, safety has been obtained, and it looks like I'm right next to a nest. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Mate, and hopefully I get six. I think this is a prime mate. I wasn't really paying attention when it said. Also, I didn't notice ever before that that store right there says it's a happiness store. See, that's weird. All right. Can I? Nope. Alright, so in this, I think my challenges right now are head for Dog and Zaka, intake, okay, and where, where's there a lot of food? Shibuya Woods has like no food. Dog and Zaka has a reasonable amount of food, and Shibuya Station has an event. Claim Shibuya Station from the pigs, and I think if I do that, let's go check my challenge list, I think if I claim Shibuya Station from the pigs, I possibly unlock the pig, I think. Yep. Oh, dude. We're totally gonna do that. I'm gonna unlock the pig here. This is happening. Yep, and there goes the challenge popping up on the board. All I gotta do is be extra careful getting back. Dude, I... Shibuya Woods is kind of a weird area because it's, like, fun jumping around, but it's sometimes a little bit hard to navigate just because of all, like, jumping and stuff you have to do. Alright, let's eat here. Hopefully there's no dogs around. By the way, I feel like I lost... How many pack members do I have? Oh. What did I just do? Did I just kill one of my pack members? Oh! You can make a pack member play dead. The game told me that a long time ago, and I never understood how that mechanic worked until now. And that's how you get away. Although I thought Triangle made your pack fight for you. Oh! It's... Okay, so it's that's only as an herbivore. I never realized, man, I learn something new about this game every day. If you hit triangle as a carnivore, it'll jump in and start fighting, but if you hit triangle as an herbivore, it will play dead. I know I may sound like an idiot, but I never actually realized that before. Alright, so Dog and Zaka has plenty of food, so this is the place to be. I'll go around, look for the food, 
I'm gonna try and mark as much as I can here just so I can uh, satisfy all the challenges here and hopefully get my score up. And actually what I'm gonna do is... Oh, we're not doing this very well. What I'm gonna do is something I've never done in this game before. I'm gonna save because I have a feeling that if you're in the middle of a survival bout and you save and then you go do the story, that you can come back and do more story. Oh, there's a beagle lying in wait in that bush. Do you see him? That beagle wants my peen, but he's not gonna get it. Alright, I marked. It said there's plenty of food over here though. I hope this isn't like beagle territory now. That would... That would highly suck for me if this has become like beagle territory in the time that I was away. Alright, oh, uh, what is that? Oh, is that a... Uh, whatever, it's staying... Oh, it's chicken. And these are birds. I don't even care about any of these guys. As long as it's not beagle territory. Alright. There's we got... Oh, some rabbits and chickens. Nothing to be afraid of here. Oh, but my hunger is going down fast. Do I have any bottled water on me? I do! I don't see any plants, so I'm going to use the bottled water. Uh, bottled water is nice because it gives you, like, half your hunger. Oh, crap. Oh, whatever. Dude, I got a bunch of... Oh, this is not a good idea. Never fight. I always forget that, as a deer, you really should never fight. Like, it never turns out well. Oh, here he comes. All right. We've got... I like it when you get, like, the grass in their line of sight. Because as you run, they'll keep looking around in the grass as you go for more grass. And plus it's daytime now. And there we go. And there's food right here. Beautiful. That worked out perfectly, except for that beagle is still in between me and the food. Plus... Oh, dude. I'm getting strategic here. Check this out. I'm gonna switch between headlamp and wool beanie now that it's daytime. Although it is raining, and rain decreases visibility. And I think the headlamp actually helps with visibility during the day. Alright, we can... Oh man, I was hoping to avoid the beagle so I could mark... Okay. We'll get the grass in between me and the beagle. Oh yeah. Dude, we're gonna kill the beagle. Revenge kill. I don't think I can one-shot it. Oh, I can! Beautiful! Oh, that was awesome. That was exactly the way I wanted that to go. I wanted the beagle to die, and he died. I'm a monster. I'm... Oh, pig. I'm gonna unlock you next, pig. I hope you're prepared for this. To be unlocked and playable. Alright. And I can now use the dog and Zaka nest, but I don't really want to use the dog and Zaka nest because I'm not a boss yet. And... How do I only have... Okay, I was like, did I lose my whole pack? But they were busy getting stuck on things and having to teleport to me, All right? What animals do we have here? Oh, pigs. I ain't scurred no pigs. I ain't never been scurred no pigs. Alright, so I might as well not even bother taking the territory in this area because... Um, my challenge for this is to mark five, and it's to take the territory from the pigs. So I'm probably gonna be marking all the... I'm probably gonna be marking all the stuff in that area anyway. Or is this the area I'm supposed to be taking from the pigs? Oh, whoa, what was that success? Oh, mark five times, all right. Do you like how I said I'm not gonna mark, and then, like, I habitually marked? All right, I headed for Dog and Zaka. I marked five times. Intake 2,500 calories is my last thing, plus... Claim the pig's territory. And I fail if it takes me more than 26 years to do that. All right, well, I can do that and I mean, I'm almost there. I should be eating... As long as I avoid animals, I should be eating every plant right now. Like, that is the thing that I want to be doing. Because... Whoa. Did that, is that pig wanting to fight me? What? Are these pigs gonna... Oh, do they are! What? What? Oh, I guess this is... So that's why I'm having to take the territory is because the pigs want to fight me. I didn't even realize that they were gonna try and do that. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. We'll play it your way, pigs. I can two-shot you. I ain't screwed no pig. Alright, eat that berry bush. That'll be a lot of calories towards that boss rank. Oh, is that gonna take me all the way to boss? Oh, dude. I am gonna be an invincible force against these pigs now because I'm boss rank. And... Like, this is awesome. I'm, I'm boss ranked. Okay. Pigs are hostile now. Doesn't matter. Me, as boss rank, is just gonna two-shot these pigs in no time. Oh. Oh, this pig wants some. Oh, okay. 
Whoa, what just happened? Alright, that was that was not cool, pig. You and all your friends are gonna die now. That's something I don't say very often. Especially not to a pig, but you deserve it. Your friends are jerks. Alright, cool. Alright, pigs destroyed. Too bad I can't eat this bounteous feast that's in front of me. Oh, dude, got all those goals. This is actually working out really well for me. I got all those goals. Now I just have to go kill a bunch of pigs. Oh, dude, these pigs really have just, like, taken over the area. Like, they're everywhere. All right, pig. So maybe what... I'm trying to figure out what it counts as taking out the pig territory. I'm thinking maybe it has to do with taking down the pig boss himself. Which... Oh. It, see, the problem with, uh non-carnivores is their attacks are so slow, so it's like once you get attacking, it takes like forever. Alright, so I can now use this nest, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna save it in case I absolutely need it later. Um... Oh, did I... Was it the station and not the shop district? It was. Oh, wait. Yes! Alright, well, you know what? If that's the case, you know what I am gonna do? I think that... You know, I am boss rank, like, if I can find a prime mate, you know what? I will... Oh, that's an average female. How can I get rid of my female once I... Oh, whatever. Average will get me another pack of four. And I'm sure the other one is a dirty flea bag anyway, so... Who cares? Alright, so, but instead of keeping going right now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill this pig first. I didn't even realize there was a pig up here. I hope you just saw what I did to all your friends and you know that I can destroy you. But instead of mating right now... Wait, I'm not in combat anymore. Is it still counting me as in combat? Alright, um, apparently there's another pig around here. Oh, I just have to wait for the caution meter to go down. Oh my gosh. Badly designed video game. Maybe it'll go down faster if I'm in the grass. I think it is actually going down faster even though I'm not actually hiding from anything. Alright. So instead of mating right now, I'm actually gonna save. And I will continue this survival in another episode. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.